Hey, how you doing? Uh, well, this video is not so much about uh, the mods that have been done to this guitar as it is just a documentation of the guitar itself. Basically a video history. This is a uh, BC Rich Mockingbird. It's a TTK1 edition. Uh, TTK stands for the Tone King. Um, there was only 40 of these guitars built for worldwide distribution and they were only available through the uh, musicfarm.com. Uh, this particular guitar is number 27 out of 40. Um, this guitar was stock. I replaced the uh, pickups in it and did some rewiring for the electronics. Uh, these pickups are Rockfield Mafia pickups that are in it now. What was in it that it comes with is uh, Duncan Design pickups, uh, which aren't that great, um, but I replaced them with these uh, Rockfield Mafia pickups, and that is what was originally ordered, or what was intended to be in this guitar, um, were the Rockfield Mafia pickups. And anybody that knows a little bit of the history uh, with BC Rich and Rockfield, um, you'll understand why this guitar came out uh, with the Duncan Designs instead of the uh, Mafia pickups. Uh, as far as this particular change that I made to it, uh, it wasn't just the pickups that I uh, changed out, but also rewired. Originally, the bridge pickup, the controls were in these two positions. You had volume and your tone in these lower positions. And then your neck pickup was controls here, volume, tone. Uh, when I put these pickups in, I rewired that. So now the bridge pickup is controlled volume, tone up here, neck pickup, volume, tone down here. Also, uh, with the switch, originally the down position was the bridge pickup, up position was the neck pickup. That has been reversed. Now the uh, bridge pickup is the up position. Neck pickup is the down position. Also, uh, one other change that got made, which I don't know how, I'm still scratching my head. Uh, originally, this guitar had coil taps. In the down position, and these are controlled by the tone uh, pods, but the down position of the tone pods was your full humbucker, and then when you pull them up, you engage the tap and bring it down to the single coil. Uh, this configuration I have it in now is just the opposite. So in the down position you have single coil, single coil, and then in the up positions you have full humbuckers. Um, so that's the changes that I've made to it and uh, I'm going to do the sound check uh, later in this video and uh, I just want to say a special thank you to the Tone King uh, from the ToneKing.com uh, he donated these pickups to me uh, I pulled them out of one of his guitars when he did an upgrade and sent them to me uh, he knew that I was going to uh, put them into the TTK1 model um, so I have played around with the sound since I've done this and it's a huge difference in tone. Uh, my personal opinion, this is now a low-end shred machine. Uh, heavy metal, uh, just, just crazy rhythm for heavy metal. And you'll see what I mean later on in the video. So uh, stay with it and uh, check out the sound samples. Peace.
All right, we're going to start out with the, uh, the neck pickup. I've got the tone all the way down. Uh, one thing I did notice, these pickups are a lot more responsive to tone control. So let's go ahead, crank the volume all the way up, and have the tone turned down so you can hear what it sounds like. Again, neck pickup. Again, the uh, it's ta uh, tone control is turned down, but the uh, tap is on right now, so it's just single coil sound. Now let's uh, go ahead. I'm going to turn the tone all the way up, so you can hear what that sounds like. <laughs> going to turn the tone about halfway. It's where I found it sounds the best for me. And again, it's just single coil. Okay, now go ahead and pull it, engaged. Now we're a uh, full humbucker. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the neck pickup. Again, we're going to turn the uh, tone all the way down. Turn the volume all the way up. Okay, now we're going to turn the uh, tone all the way up. halfway position again on the tone. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and engage full humbucker. Back to the uh, the uh, neck pickup, or excuse me, the bridge pickup. Full humbucker. And go back to the neck pickup. Full humbucker. Just to play around with it a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll make the uh, the neck single coil and the uh, bridge full humbucker. Now let's. 
let's reverse that. We'll make the uh, bridge single coil and the uh, neck full humbucker. Tone halfway and the uh, full humbucker. Now one thing I do like about these pickups is how responsive they are to the tone. Uh, the Duncan Design pickups that were in here. Uh, as far as control to the tone, really it was kind of dark and muddy uh, tone control. These are very precise tone controls. So the slightest little bit, like now the tone's all the way down. Tone's all the way up now. found for me uh, about halfway works out pretty good um, now I'm just basically a rhythm guy so I'm not gonna try to do any leads but uh, I definitely like that chunky sound <laughs> Maybe we'll do a little, little something, something here, just for giggles. Uh, some, some low end, uh, little rippage here. Uh, tone halfway, full humbucker on both the uh, bridge and the neck. Uh, volume on full. So a little something, something here. <laughs> To uh, just the uh, bridge pickup, do the same thing. TKK1, number 27 out of 40, and the uh, first official modification I've done was the uh, pickup swap out from the Duncan Designs to the uh, Rockfield Mafia pickups. I uh, hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, uh, you know, leave a comment or uh, find me on Facebook, and uh, I'll answer
answer them the best I can. All right, till later. Peace.